Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. I thought I would start a whole new series here based on some of your past suggestions. I had a blast doing that very same thing with the Cryptids and Monsters series. I did so many good videos out of that that I thought I would delve into some of your past suggestions on the Urban Legends side. So this one has to do with a suggestion that was probably over a year or so ago. The interesting thing was it was actually suggested in my ghosts and spirits suggestion videos but in looking at it and realizing that it was more along the lines of a cursed object item that I should incorporate it within the urban legends side my cursed video seems to be a pretty good theme like there's a lot of popularity associated with my cursed object video so very happy to include this one here and unfortunately there's not too many pictures about this particular subject um, itself so I'm gonna try to put in some other pictures related to it and then that way uh, you can get an idea of what it is but this is an actual statue that to this very day apparently carries a pretty nasty curse associated with it we're talking about curse of death when it comes to whoever owns this object and I'm talking about the object known as the women from Lemb statue although it has a much more fancy term or much more fancy moniker associated with it called the goddess of death you're looking at it here and this is supposedly an object that whoever owns it uh, will essentially create a ticking time uh, one that goes down to zero for them essentially becoming dead very very soon several notable tales tied to this statue affecting the people that owned it and their quick deaths and I'll talk about all that here so so what is the women from Lem statue what is this goddess of death well it was a statue that was discovered a long time ago 1878 to be exact there in Lem Cyprus so a good history when it comes to its discovery now as to its actual creation this is far more longer when it comes to its history in fact it's been dated as being somewhere around 3500 BC so I'm sorry thousands and thousands of years back in time that this thing is supposedly created it's always fascinating to see stuff like this because you realize that you living right now myself living right now we're at this moment now but this existed thousands of years back like there was a civilization back then someone created it brand new and that was considered new back then and now this thing is actually thousands of years old so quite fascinating to realize that when I was looking at the history as far as what it's supposed to represent it still seems to be a mystery of some sort anyone that has been looking at it as a researcher has surmised that maybe it represents a goddess of some sort someone that was um, either worshipped or highly regarded during that time period there in Lem Cyprus by the way it's made out of pure limestone uh, uh, so that's its uh, material content right there now as far as its discovery this is what happened um, it's gone through several owners each time it's gone through these owners these people seem to have either a lost their own lives within a very short time period or B had others close to them lose their lives as well could it just be a hundred percent coincidence it's possible but at the same time that's it's it's gained its notoriety because of it having so many similar coincidences so the very first owner was a guy named Lord Elfont he was someone that came across it I have no idea how he did so but he considered it a very prized object it was something to be absolutely cherished in his possession his family apparently felt the very same way too um, I, I would imagine that having something like this thousands of years old um, it's absolutely something to to contain within a household as a cherished prize well he had seven family members no less than 70 family members in his life from the time he first started when it came to that statue cut to about six years later all seven of them eventually lost their lives every single one of them so that is the first known instance of this quote unquote goddess of death apparently bringing about um, uh, death when it when it comes to those family members passed a little bit of time and eventually came across a guy by the name of Ivor Manucci 
and he also had a good number of family members no number exactly but the way it was reading it seemed like he also had a larger number of family members well cut to four years later after first coming into possession of this statue and sure enough his family members also passed away every single one of them did so so that's two times if you're doing something like this if you're keeping count when it comes to this statue there was another guy, a guy by the name of Lord Thompson Noel. He was the next owner of this statue. And then cut to about four years later from the time he started owning that statue, then all of his other family members also succumbed to death. So now we have three, three separate families all receiving ownership of this statue and then all dying within a short time period after. Next, if you wanted to keep track again of another family encountering this, was a guy by the name of Sir Alan Biverbrook. He also came into possession of this statue, this goddess of death. He in turn purchased it this time. He had a wife and he had two daughters as well. Well, it turns out that they ended up suffering the very same thing as everyone else. His wife and their two daughters ended up dying shortly thereafter. No statement as to how quickly it happened, but one could surmise that it was just with him a couple of years. He is notable though because he had actually two sons, two additional family members, two sons that ended up surviving um, whatever I guess this curse was so not all of his family members ended up dying maybe they were away on some kind of trip um, who knows maybe they're away on business maybe they happen to live away but the key thing is they survived and because of that they started warning everybody about this statue it seemed like these two sons were able to get research into the history of the statue and that's when they started adding two plus two and coming across this history this this deadly history about who ever owns this thing um, on top of that it seemed like the statue was finally decided that it was not going to be in possession of anyone else so these two brothers they decided at that point that they wanted to go ahead and donate it to a neutral position in this case the Royal Scottish Museum it's found somewhere there in Edinburgh so it seems like that was the best mindset thinking possible because they did not necessarily want to hand it down to another family member and have that risk happen to that to those uh, additional families and then also they didn't want to keep it because you think about it if that were the case then they would not be able to start their own family members because they were truly believing in this curse and so they didn't want to limit themselves because of this statue so adding it to this neutral location nobody is an owner instead it's there in the museum to this very day apparently behind a wall of glass of some sort or a case made out of glass just sitting there for anyone to come by and take pictures I tried to see if there were actually any current pictures of this thing but I couldn't find any it seems to tell me that you could probably go visit the statue there at the Royal Scottish Museum but there's no pictures allowed sometimes museums do do that they want to make sure that with these older items there's no flash photography that could help deteriorate those things so that tells me that whenever I was not able to find any current pictures of it but very very smart so if this thing truly has a curse if it truly has the uh, the instinct to try to end life of any one of its owners then it's stuck in a gray limbo area right now there at the Royal Scottish Museum owner free just pretty much there as is for anyone to come up and look at it so that's it that's all the history associated with this quote unquote goddess of death the woman from limb statue if anyone has any more information about it um, if anyone has come across it like let's say you've there uh, happened to visit that Royal Scottish Museum you've seen it in person that would be really Really, really good to hear below. Please post those comments, share them with everybody, or for someone knows someone that actually visited, it, that would be really great to hear too. So, all right, everybody, thanks again as always. Take care.